Hello everyone, um, today is Tuesday, um, the weather outside is really great and today I'm going to be doing a review um, of my HP Pavilion notebook which is the 15AB 222TX model. I got this on Labor Day in New Zealand which was the 26th of October and today is the 17th of November and so I'm going to do a review of it. Um, this computer costs, I got it from Noor Leaming um, which is a New Zealand retailer and it comes with 2.3 gigahertz 6th gen, gen which is Intel's latest generation currently for 2015, late 2015 um, processor, i5 processor um, 8 gigabytes of 1600 megahertz RAM 1 terabyte hard drive 15 5400 revolutions per minute 2 gigabytes of AMD Radeon R3 R7 M360 graphics and Windows 10 <clears throat> and this is the product's um, specifications um, brand it's HP processor 16 uh, Intel Core i5 processor memory this drive and oh, I'm just printing on two pages um, also has an optical drive DVD 15 inch um, full HD 1080p anti-glare which is anti-reflective my um, TV also has an anti-reflective um, screen that's full HD as well it's a Sony KDL40 EX720 these, these manufacturers have to be so complicated and also it has these connections as well this is kind of wrinkled because it's been stored in my box which is that one here. It's actually quite light too. So yeah, and I'll just show you the specs on the box as well. And this is the laptop. It's actually a laptop um, in New Zealand and Australia. HP makes this model for New Zealand and Australia. I'm not sure about America or the United Kingdom. But yeah, this is the laptop. Comes with a disk drive. Three USB ports, two of them are 3.0 high speed ports, and one of them is a 2. Point USB 2.0 Ethernet jack. Who just came online? One of my friends. Um, also has a power cable, and I decided to get a white laptop because um, so many pe things are made in boring black. Um, also has a um, headphone jack and large in ventilation system. Um, down here is the battery, which is this thing over here. Um, it's quite thin, but it's a four cell battery. And this is what it looks like underneath. HP Loco. Um, so yeah, let's have a look at the inside of this thing. As you can see, it's full HD um, screen, anti-reflective, which is great because my bedroom has like bright sunlight and stuff. So I'm glad that these two displays are anti-glare. Um, also, it's a keyboard, and it's the HP stickers. Some more stickers. So this thing is shut down completely. So I'm going to restart it now. So I press this button here. This thing starts up cold, starts up in only like 30 seconds. I'm recording with my Samsung S5 phone. I may need to do some editing in this video. And it's the home screen. And I've just entered it in. And voila, it started in less than one minute. Well, pretty much. Um, as you can see, the dashboard background I use. It's I took I use my sam my phone to capture a photo at Auckland Zoo over New Year's um, this year. Um, so that's my picture that I own and I use on my dashboard. So um, the processor, even though 
Intel Core i5 processor is only dual core. It's actually really better than the um, fifth gen Intel Core i5 processor, which is Intel Core i5 5200 processor, um, because this is a six gen processor, um, Intel Core. <clears throat> Intel Core i5-6200 and it's super fast, it's really good at multitasking, better than because when I was at the store looking for a new computer to buy um, the Intel Core i5 Pros, um, 5200 which was a 5th gen processor struggled to open this menu quickly um, whereas this one on the 6th gen Intel Core i5 it loads super fast and you can use also, um, I also got Word 2006, um, I got the full edition, edition which is $129 for New Zealand if you get it off Microsoft website and you don't have to, there's no ongoing monthly subscription fees or yearly subscription fees which is really good. Um, Word, I really use um, Word quite a lot so um, for documents and stuff. And so, yeah, um, is this recycle bin AVG 2015, which I use, it's internet security. It's, it's got like lots of million people around the world who use it. And it's good for protecting when you go online and stuff. I also have Hapage Capture. As you may know, I use uh, Hapage HD PVR to capture card or capture device. Um, I, did, I did a YouTube video of that as well. So moving on, um, these are the programs that I use to see. And you can even customize the size, width, and size of tiles as well, like resize it, and you can resize this as well, make it bigger or smaller or taller or what have you. Um, this is just the stuff that I have. Hard to multitask. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> and got Netflix. Um, free view download. This is what I use to download YouTube videos for the net onto my computer so I can transfer to my phone saves using um, watching videos directly off mobile internet, which is so expensive. Um, also, free view MP4 video collector. I used to like. DVD software to help with my videos as well. Um, so let's do a review of the Windows 10 Xbox app. So I'll just open that. It usually loads faster than this. Okay, there we go. And um, let's go to um, in stream. And as you can see, it's come up on the dashboard that I'm connected. Um, I need to turn on my con controller. It's decided to go to slamming. Continue. And there we go. And that's streaming on Xbox. Um, I love Microsoft. Windows 10, they've listened so much. Windows 10 is much more friendlier than... Oh, there's a fly buzzing around. Windows 10 is much more friendlier than Windows 8 because it's way faster, the UI. And also it's much more user friendly and it's got the start menu. So I'm just going to back out of this. And also the Xbox app on Windows 10 stop streaming. The Windows app on Windows 10 um, it 
Xbox app on Windows 10 PC updates how many friends you have online in real time, which is really great. Um, so I also got Windows um, Microsoft. No, I also got um, Minecraft. So I'm going to search for Minecraft. Minecraft edition. I got Windows 10 edition of Minecraft on my computer because I love playing Minecraft. Lots of people play it on Xbox. Um, so I'm just going to close that. Let's go back to and close this. As you can see, it's super fast, much more better than my old computer, which is still I will still keep. Um, what else do I want to show you? Um, the Sims 4. Um, since I got my last computer, um, I was unable to play The Sims 3 on it because it kept on freezing, even though it met the minimum specs. I got really annoyed, so I gave it gave up PC gaming, and I've been I haven't been really playing PC gaming for like four years since that happened. I decided to get Xbox and. Been having a blast on it. So this is the Sims 4. Oh yeah, this computer comes with eight gigabytes of um, Intel Iris graphics. Um, it's not really the great graphics, but it's fair enough. Um, it also comes with a two gigabytes, two gigabyte AMD R7 M360 graphics. Um, the pr the issue which if most people are having with Windows 10 is Windows 10 doesn't let you manually switch which graphics you want to switch to because most computers have like two sets of graphics um, and Intel Core pro one comes with in integrated with Intel processors and the other is like an AMD um, on Windows 7 on my Windows 7 computer my old computer um, which I won't show in this video um, it comes with an Intel Core 2nd Gen i5 processor um, and it comes with Windows 7 and I can switch the graphics on that but not on um, yeah so if you have switchable graphics like AMD and Intel share your stories about not being able to share um, switchable graphics um, manually switch your graphics to what you want because you can't do it because for some reason when Microsoft, AMD or Intel or HP kind of needed to get this stuff sorted with being able to manually switch your graphics, which gra graphics card you want to use on your computer. So I'll just show you some a game that I just make, finished made, making on the weekend. Yeah, <clears throat> I've missed playing The Sims 4 and be a, Sim, a Sims game on PC for like four years. Because manufacturers make, make computers in so many crazy um, models and stuff. Like you have to worry about system specs, whereas on Xbox, you don't have to worry about system specs. If you do have any music or scene cutscenes, I also or scene copyright stuff if there's any on this video and um, I do give credit to the owners one of my other friends have come online um, as you can see I'll just show you what the graphics scene I have on this computer I need to focus there okay um, game options and this is the options that I have Remember, this computer comes with uh, integrated Intel Iris graphics, 520 graphics. It also comes with two gigabytes of AMD, a two gigabyte um, AMD R7 M360 graphics card as well. And this is the settings that I'm, I'm using currently right now. 
as you can see it's an antique full HD screen that this computer has. I've got everything on high so let's demonstrate. Um, So we press C to zoom in. Ooh, these guys need to have a wash. As you can see, a play can play The Sims 3 fine. I mean, Sims 4. Sims 4 fine. And the graphics look completely fine. I have this game pause. And if I hit the Windows key and bring up Task Manager, Task Manager, and Performance, while well, the game is running in the background, um, this computer comes with a 6th gen Intel Core i5 processor, 620. And you can see the performance, it's barely using any of the CPU because this CPU is 6th gen, one of Intel's latest um, processors. And it does a really good job at multitasking. Maybe because it's just shrunk down or something. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, all of my printer's compatible with it, um, my phone's compatible with it, my camcores, um, I have to try, which I have a Sony CX190 camcorder I got a few years ago. Um, so yeah, overall, I like this computer, um, and it just helps you, um, for those who are looking for a new computer to helps you, gives you some information about Windows 10, um, it's a really good operating system and yeah so that was my review of Windows 10 I guess uh, my computer new computer and yeah I hope you like this video bye oh feel free, to feel free to leave a comment or subscribe or like as well bye Okay, what I'm going to do now is compare how well The Sims 4 com plays on my computer, um, which has the Space 3C right in front of you, as well as integrated Intel Iris HD 520 graphics, as well as a 2GB um, AMD R7 M360 graphics card with it. Um, so, yeah, I'll show you how well The Sims 4 com performs on this one. And I'll show you what settings I'm currently using as well. As you can see, I got everything turned up high, so um, this is what a real gamer would like, like, have everything on high settings. But we'll see how the hardware um, on this computer performs as... You know, it has... AMD R7 graphics as well as the integrated graphics which is Intel Iris um, which comes with the processor so these are the specs so let's get to playing It looks like she needs to take a shower, so we'll just tell her to take a shower. There's a bit of a frame rates per second lag.
that's because I have everything turned up to high settings and as you may know Intel Intel's this the integrated graphics which comes with this um processor which is is Intel Core 6 Gen i5 processor it's not the best it's weaker it is weaker than even AMD's R7 M360 graphics card but my computer has like 8 gigabytes of RAM which is lots But the graphics look fairly good. It's just that occasional frame rate drop. I'm not very good at using one hand to try and play this game and holding my phone to record in the other. Okay, and if we go back to my my desktop, um, as you can see, I've got several programs running. I've got Minecraft Windows 10 running in the background, The Sims 4 running in the background, and if we open up this, which is that's already open, as you can see, my computer is doing fine. So yeah, that was just a little graphics gaming, video gaming review on how my two games are. Actually, I don't really play Windows 10 much. Um, I mean, Minecraft Windows 10 much. I prefer it on Xbox until they get rid of... They move the Windows 10 Minecraft beta version up to a non-beta version. Um, the Sims 4 performs fine. It plays without freezing and the graphics look fine. Um, Gameplay is fairly smooth um, if you play on high settings. Um, if you play on like medium settings, it should be much smoother. Um, so yeah, that was just a review of how well The Sims 4 plays on your computer, which has an Intel Core i5-6200 processor with integrated Iris Intel Iris um, graphics and an AMD two gigabyte an AMD two gigabyte. Uh, 7M360 graphics card. And another thing I like to add is when you buy a new computer with Windows 10 on it, um, it will not come with Windows um, Essentials 2012 or so, um, which is a really, which is a program which I really like to use, especially the Movie Maker where you can edit and combine multiple videos into one video. Um, you can, st but there is a way to get it. Um, Microsoft, you can still, luckily, get it on Microsoft's official website, so you can download it for different versions of op Windows operating systems as well, which is really something I really like because I don't really like the picture viewer that comes with Windows 10, but the picture viewer that comes with Windows Life Essentials 2012, I really like. Um, and one last thing is I'm going to measure how thick this laptop is. My phone's not very good at auto-focusing fast. So I'd say it's about... Focus. It's about 2.5... 2.4 centimeters thick. Oh, and just one more edit to this video. Um, it's really sunny outside. Um, I'll show you what I mean by not being able to manually switch your graphic, which graphics card you want to use on your computer if you're using Windows 10. 
Um, so you go to this one, opens beautiful, beautifully smooth because of the new processor. Type in CCC or open up the Catalyst control to your alternative graphics card that you have on your computer. On this one it's the AMD R7 graphics card. Um, and now I'm going to go to try to go to power management, switchable graphics. And as you can see, there's no option to manually switch, choose which graphics card you want to use, whether it's the R7 graphics card or the Intel Core. Even if I go to Intel's um, graphics card, HD's R Intel RS HD um, control panel. There's not really any options to manually switch, what choose which graphics card you want to use, AMD or Intel. Um, it's an issue which I think Microsoft or AMD or Intel or HP, whoever, needs to release an update so we can choose which graphics card we want to use. I also brought up some information about the processor which my computer uses. And here's a brief look at what info it launched this year, late this year. Um, that's American dollars. It has a base speed of 2.3 gigahertz and maximum turbo is 2.8. Um, and the processor, which uses 14 nano something technology, um, it uses only 15 watts of power, which is really energy efficient. So yeah, that's going to be the end of this video, I promise. <laughs> I won't add it anymore. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching this video, and yeah, bye.